Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us in the Quran with Tawheed Tawheed the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to worship Him and Him alone. Let me ask you, what is the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who knows the haq of Allah? What is Allah's haq, His right? Who knows? Huh? Exactly. The right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that you worship Him and Him alone. And that's why the Quran is full of tawheed. All throughout the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to worship Him and Him alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And your Lord has decreed, He's ordered for us, He's decreed for you, to worship Him and uh, to worship your Lord alone, uh, to worship Allah alone, and to your parents, be uh, be righteous and be, be kind in, to your parents, obedient to your parents. Letting us know that along with Tawheedillah, with the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the right of the parents. That that comes, that Allah places importance with that right after Tawheed. Letting us know that's one of the greatest deeds that we can do, is be righteous to your parents. What is one of the greatest deeds you can do after uh, Tawheed? After worshiping Allah alone? Huh? Um, your parents. Is do what for your parents? Just the respect. Huh? Obey them. Obey your parents, good. Okay, good. So yeah, one of the most important things you can do after worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being righteous to your parents. And that's why also in a hadith, the Prophet والسلام, was asked about the one of the best deeds. Uh, this is the hadith of uh, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, where the, the narrator, he said, uh, or Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, Ayya a'mal uhibbu Allah is, uh, uhibbu, Ayya a'mal uhibbu Allah azza wa jal. What deed is more beloved to Allah the Almighty? The Prophet Sallallahu said, Salat ala waqtiha. He said the prayer at his time. And then, the, then uh, Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala, he said, Thumma ay, he said, then what? He said, Bir, bir walidain. Bir walidain. He said, uh, being righteous to your parents. Hadith. So, in this hadith, after a, a, a way in which we exhibit the right of Allah, which is by Salat, because Salat, you're worshipping Allah alone. So that is the way you're implementing with your limbs and your tongue and your heart, your worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Because when you pray, you make certain dhikr on your tongue. You make sur you read Surah Al-Fatiha, and you have your heart with khushur and khashya. You know you have uh, fearfulness and taqwa of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and all of those are acts of ibadah. That's all a part of a great act of worship to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala alone. So that's that tawheed. But then in the second deed that the Prophet ﷺ said, as he said, thumma ay, he said, then what? He said, then bitter waladain. He said, being uh, obedient or righteous with your parents. You know, ha having righteousness, serving your parents. All the various ways in which you can have bitter to your parents. And one of the ways is by being obedient, listening to them, uh, serving them, helping them. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever they are in need of. And whatever they want, as long as it's halal, as long as it's within the bounds of the shar, then you should strive to 
please your parents and serve them. And that is the right of the ibad. That is the right of the servant uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is a right that we must implement and it shows us the importance that along with Tawheed or after Tawheed, worshipping Allah alone, that serving the parents has such a huge and important weight in Islam. So that's what the Muslim should be concerned with, with how to be better with his or her parents. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to improve our relationships with our parents and to improve our relationship with our Lord and obey Him in His commands and have taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.